Hi everyone, this is Linda with Overbrook Quilt Connection. This is day nine of Moda's Stitch Pink, and the block today is called Breaking Rules, and it is a super simple block. I'm going to deviate slightly from Moda's instructions, and again, as usual, I'm going to turn my screen down so you can see what I'm working on. Moda's instructions say to cut 16 two inch squares of your dark and a light. I chose to use the background for my light. You might want to use a real pale pink, your choice. And then I used a medium for the three and a half inch squares. Instead of doing the individual two inch squares, I did, I chose to do strip sets and since you need to make two, 16 two inch squares, you'll need 32 inches of a strip. I had to do two strip sets because I was using fat quarters, which don't have the length of the of 32 inches. So if you sew your strip set, when you sew your strip set together, or if you choose that technique, You'll sew your quarter inch seam as usual. I pressed it towards the dark. Then this strip set should have a width of three and a half inches if your seam allowance is correct. Then you would subcut your strip set into two inch sections. That's usually the case with strip sets is that you cut them in the same width as the beginning. You cut them into segments that are the same width as what your beginning strip size was. So in this case, then I would be cutting 16 of these wedges. Now I want to show you when I cut the next one, my red looks just a little wonky on this side and sometimes your fabrics aren't necessarily woven with the same density and so sometimes one of your fabrics will be you know kind of get a little ripply or something um, as you sew them together so occasionally you will have to to trim them down on one edge because it's not, you know, exactly square anymore. So I have now cut my 16 segments that I'm using. And so I'm going to start constructing four patches out of this. And in order to do that, you're going to take two of your segments and put them like this. And your seams will be opposing because you press them to the dark. And since you have a dark up and a dark low, then they now become opposing. So I am going to sew these four patch segments and then I will be back to show you how to put together the rest of the block. I have I have finished sewing my four patches together and I am going to do this technique where we kind of open up the center and make a little tiny miniature four patch in the middle. And to do that, I am going to use my seam ripper and I'm going to take out just a couple of stitches between my seam line and the edge of my fabric. And these are the original seams where we sewed the red to the white. Okay, I'm not going past this crosswise seam line. That is what's going to hold those stitches from continuing to come out. So you do that on both sides. And then when you press it, one of the seam allowances will go this way and one will go that way. And that makes all your seam allowances go in the same direction. All right, so then I would press that. I'm going to finger press it just so I can continue what I'm doing. 
All right, then I double checked the size of my four patches because they want to be three and a half because they are going to be going with your three and a half inch squares. So to square up a four patch, in this case, it's three and a half. So half of that is one and three quarters. You'll line up one and three quarters going lengthwise and crosswise. And then whatever is outside the three and a half, of course, you'll want to trim off. And I, you know, I just have tiny little bits to trim off, tiny little slivers. You may not have anything depending on how big your seam allowance is. And then, of course, do the same, turn it over and do the same thing. Uh, line it up at, th at one and three fourths. And this way, well, I guess I do have a tiny bit of red to trim off. So check your, your four patches and make sure that they're the same size as your squares. Then we will be joining them into rows. I told you this was a simple, simple block. So you will be making four rows of four squares each. The first row starts with the four patch and then alternates with the three and a half inch squares. The second row starts with a square and then you continue on with your four patch and square all um, alternating. You'll make four rows of that. Again, make sure your reds are all in the upper left corner or your four patches all have a red in the upper left corner. And then, so that way you're gonna have rows of red and rows of your light. And the last one, <coughs> excuse me, the last row I have not seamed yet, but it will start with a square and alternate like so. All right, I'm going to finish sewing this block together and I'll show you when it's complete. I have completed our block. Again, this is block nine called Breaking Rules. And as you can see, the reds all go in rows and of course the white, or in my case, the white all go in the same direction also. So we have a super simple block for today. I hope that you're keeping up okay. And if you're not, that's fine too. Whenever you get to them, these videos will be out there for you to watch. So I will see you back tomorrow for block 10. Thanks.